All right, guys, as I mentioned earlier in the week, we had two uh, installs to do in the shop this week amongst the other projects and the, the manufacturing that we've got going on. So uh, we got one of the installs done. I'm going to turn the camera around here and, and show you how it turned out and go specifically over the things that we did. So it's the new canoe frontier. Um, as we mentioned earlier, it's a little different of an install than we're normal, normally used to doing. Um, this was a travel motor. It was a 1003 travel motor. The customer uh, wanted to put it in the A mount. So um, there's the A mount with our adapter plate for the four bolt pattern on the back of the Frontier. There's the back side, the motor. We made a custom rock guard for this one. The 1003 usually has the profile pre-installed and then uh, we have developed a similar clamp mount that we have on the 1103 for the 1003. But since this one, was a custom install with the um, the A mount, so it didn't have the profile with it. So we made a custom rock guard that's just like the 403 rock guard, um, custom grass blaster blade, keep that vegetation off of there for the customer. Um, so the customer on this one had a special request. So these are the customer's wheels that normally go into the transom hole where our mount goes. I'll show you in a minute how this actually installs, but we've actually put this custom bracket on to the back of our mount, our adapter plate, so that he can still use his wheels just like he did before. Um, I'm gonna go up here, I'm gonna raise the motor, show you how that works. We ran it right here to the right side of the seat. Let me pull this up. Motor's in the up position. And when that motor's in the up position, you can actually install these wheels just like you would before. They just go in the, the different plate that we put on the back. Snaps into place. It even still has that pivoting motion that it had from the stock so that if you go on over uneven ground, um, the wheels aren't really pressured to lean or anything. But you can see the cables on here. We had to run the tubing outside. This kayak does not offer a nice area for um, uh, a, a, a hatch. So we don't like to put hatches down in a flat area where water can lay um, because that's just asking for trouble if the seal fails. If you got water laying in there, it's gonna go on the inside of the kayak. And this area here isn't big enough for a hatch. So um, we had spoke to the customer and explained to him the situation and they said that's fine we, you know we told them we would run it cleanly on the outside um actually this one here the customer preferred to have the controls to be backwards from what is normal with your slide pedals so what we did was we actually crisscrossed the the tubing under the seat as you can see there so that normally when you push your right foot on the pedals you will turn right. This customer preferred to have, when you push your right foot, you would turn left. So that's how we did it for them. Um, we made these custom uh, square tubing brackets for the pedals. It's a really solid uh, mount for the slide pedals. Uh, the pedals are adjustable. We measured the customer's leg length before uh, they left when they had dropped the kayak off. And we put the pedals in the center. So these are actually adjustable about six inches either way um in case they would the customer would change the seating position or if you get a, a shorter or a person with longer legs on the kayak so we did that we put the throttle mount on the left side of the seat and as you can see we put a 90 degree adapter on the throttle mount and we took that extension off because with the extension on it put the throttle way out here and that's just in the way of your paddle stroke if you need to paddle. So we move the throttle in, um, coiled up the, the extra throttle cable, and of course you got your, your, your kill switch here, um, and then the reverse lock is right here. So you just pull that to lock it in reverse. A um, couple of cool features on this thing. With doing the 1003, it was really different for us. Um, we're really happy with the way it turned out. Um, you know, it, it was really neat. And uh, I think this thing's gonna 
gonna move along pretty good with that 1003 motor on there. Um, the 1003 is really not that heavy. It raises really nicely. Um, like I said, these wheels, these wheels are a really cool feature. Uh, for the customer to still be able to utilize those wheels, that was the one special request we had because, um, you know, that's how he transports it to him from the water. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, we're going to get a hold of the customer here and have them come pick this thing up. They can get it out on the water. This, this kayak is actually used for crabbing. Um, so, crabbing season, I think he said, starts at the end of the month. So, he's excited to get this thing back, get it out on the water. And now he has foot control steering instead of having to reach back to that old tiller steer. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, we'll show you the updates on the other kayak uh, as soon as we get it finished. We're, we're hoping to finish it up here today. So um, get these finished up and back to the customers so they can get out on the water and enjoy their time. So thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.